teach on the influence of athletes like on our lives. So it's an overview, overview kind of thing. Um, when you were growing up, did you uh, look up to any professional athlete and kind of want to be like them? Um, a lot of us do this because, I mean, we pick role models that we like and share our likes. Um, and growing up, I often played sports, and as a result, I looked up to athletes and kind of wanted to be like them. And then what I'm going to talk about, um, what influences us, um, athletes that are good role models, and then athletes that are bad role models. Um, the things that influence us, the definition is right here. Um, it's a power affecting a person, thing, or course of events, especially one that operates without any direct or apparent effort. And that's from freedictionary.com. Um, and due to the time period we're growing up, we like kind of have all this mass media around us, so I mean, we tend to like, get influenced by that. Um, and that's mass media. It refers to collect. It refers collectively to all media technologies, including the internet, TV, newspapers, film, and radio, which are used for mass communications and organization, whatever. And it's mass media. There's computer. Um, and then athletes, celebrities, and other important public figures can influence us in a good or a bad way. Um, bad athlete role models. Right here, O.J. Simpson, he's a, he's a bad dude. Um, <laughs> he, was, he was a great athlete. He um, was the Bills' number one overall pick in 1969. And he was the first running back to rush for over 2,000 yards in a season. I mean, that's obviously pretty good. Um, and he later became like an actor. But then I don't know what happened. He like he got tr he was involved in this whole big murder. He wasn't like technically proven guilty, but like everybody knows he did it. Um, they found yeah he admitted to it after. And then like right after he wrote a book. And that was in 2006, and he said, if I did it, and he had, like basically said like what like ways that he would have killed his wife, or his ex-wife, like, I don't know. And there was evidence, like there was a glove, and his DNA, and the girl that he killed, like was on it, like the, both of their DNA. And then um, there's footprints, and there was a gate with his DNA and her DNA together. So I mean, it's obviously that he killed her, and he basically got away with murder. So, and then later though, in 2007, he got arrested for um, robbery and kidnapping. He actually, like, what happened was he, like, I guess the police officer took his like one of his trophies, like one of his great like achievements, and he like kind of took it back. So I mean, that's robbery. I don't know where the kidnapping came in, but. He's serving a 33-year sentence right now. Um, Len Bias, he was um, a great basketball player from Maryland. Um, he was selected by the Celtics um, as a second overall pick in 1986. Um, he ended up, that night, he ended up going out to some party and snorted like, a line of coke and overdosed and died. And like they said that he could have been better than Michael Jordan. It's kind of sad. Well, it's actually very sad. Um, and then Chris Benoit. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. He was a wrestler. I mean, I really don't know much about him, but I mean, I remember on ESPN I heard it. He um, he was in all this stuff. He was in the CML. I don't know what any of this stuff is. The WWE and that kind of thing. I know, but like. And like, huh? Professional Yeah. So but, um, and he like, I mean, when I was little, I used to watch wrestling, so that's not good. And, uh, but he ended up murdering his wife and his son on June 22nd, 2007, and later hanged himself. Um, they said that it was because of all of his concussions and, uh, steroid abuse, and his marriage was kind of failing, so he kind of just... One off the edge. Um, then other bad role models, Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds are steroids. I mean, yes. but uh, Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds with steroids. I mean, that's not a good role model. I mean, I don't know. Ben Roethlisberger right here. I mean, he 
great two girls, apparently. Um, Pac-Man Jones, he got in a big fight with like stripper, I don't know, he, he, I don't know what was going on with him. Dante Stallworth, he killed someone um, when he was drunk driving. Plaxico Burris um, shot himself in the foot. Michael Vick killed dogs, had this whole dog fighting thing. And Allen Iverson, he just got into like, a lot of fights. With him. And then Tiger Woods had like a million mistresses. Oh, there there's like a bunch of bad role models. There are also some great inspirational athletes out there that make good role models. Um, Michael Orb, there's a movie about him. Um, oh yeah, I watched that movie. Side, very good movie. Um, basically, he's a total success story. Like his mom was an alcoholic and crack abuser, and his father was always in prison. He was in foster care at the age of seven, and he was in and out of homelessness. And he decided at seven, they later found out in like an interview, that he said to himself that he didn't want to be like that. And Michael Jordan was his inspiration, and he wanted to be the best that he could. And there he is. Uh, Tim Tebow. I like Tim Tebow. He's a, good, he's a quarterback for the Denver Broncos. Um, he played college football at Florida. He just, I don't know, he just plays with like a lot of heart and emotion. I, I don't know. He wins, he's a winner. I don't know. And then he has, he started the Tim Tebow Foundation and helps kids in orphanages, um, cancer centers. I mean, he, he's just a good guy. Um, and then here's a video. I mean, I don't know if you guys. And uh, I just want to say one this thing. This is a speech um, when his team lost against, I don't know who they lost the against. The fans and everybody in Gator Nation. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, extremely sorry. You know, we were hoping for another team this season. That was my goal. Something the has never done here. But I promise you one thing. A lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season. And you never see someone push the rest of the team as hard as I will push everybody the rest of the season. And you never see a team play harder than we will the rest of the season. God bless. He's a good man. He's like all about Yeah, he's like a big Christian and stuff. Yeah. But he's just, I think he's just a good role model for him. He is, he is, yeah. Um, Back Pretty much done, Eric. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this Just is, though. reduce that, though. Oh, that word. There you go. And then, Kyle Ripken Jr. is another good role model. He has. He played shortstop. He was best known for playing 260 or 2,632 straight games, and he was in the Hall of Fame. Now he does all these things for kids playing baseball. He's just a good guy. And then other notable athletes, those guys. Role models. Many times, many times, kids uh, tend to look up the sports figures, and sometimes they don't. I don't know. Like, yeah. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs>